What if we do like vlogception? <laughs> yeah. We're doing vlogception right now. Yeah. Kathy's vlogging me, vlogging Kathy. Yeah. Kathy's giving me a life lesson about taking breaks. Oh, I have to stop giving advice, don't I? No, you don't. Your advice is very valuable. By now, you may have seen a few vlogs of Costume College. It looks like a really awesome, inspiring, exciting event, doesn't it? But you may also be thinking that it looks totally overwhelming. If you're an introvert, and especially if you also live a million miles away, you may be feeling like an event or convention like this one could never be a realistic possibility for you. In that case, it's time to show you another side to Costume College. Here's how Team Introvert does it. We successfully peopled. We did. We did the thing. That was okay. It was okay. We survived. Yep. I've just arrived at Costume College. This is the 10th anniversary of the first time I came. So I have a few of these under my belt now. I have arrived on Thursday. It should have been Wednesday. I had a very long trip with an unexpected delay. So I've arrived at 11 o'clock Thursday morning. I always try to get in at least a day early. And that is just because A, I'm coming from England, which is a heck of a long way and I just like to have a day to get through the worst of the jet lag just be chilled and ready for everything to begin so I'm not like um, launched headlong into all the crazy over the years there have been a few times when I've felt frazzled or overwhelmed or I've even had a meltdown right in the middle of costume college and missed part of it I've certainly had times when I've ended up in my room like wrapped in a curtain in the corner because I was so just overwhelmed with everything with a big crowd of people and all of that. So I might show you in this video some of my little tricks and tips for doing events like this. I don't just do costume college, I do business events and all sorts of conferences and I'll be showing you, you'll be seeing behind the scenes and how I do this and how I cope. Because frankly, I live on my own and I work from home. So I spend a lot of time on my own in my daily life. So coming to an event like this is a huge culture shock. I'm suddenly in this huge crowd of people. My massage therapist just left. I come from literally the other side of the world. By the time I get here, I can be pretty cranky and tired and stiff. So if I've paid that amount of money already to come all this way, I might as well spend another hundred dollars and have somebody come and completely chill me out and ready to get the most out of this event. There is a service called soothe.com where you can book a massage therapist to literally come to your hotel room and they will come and give you an hour's massage. After I've come all this way, I might as well do everything I can to be, to feel at my best. It's not for everybody, but it's something that I've discovered that uh, really works for me. The next thing I'm gonna do, and this costs nothing, is I just sit here on the first day when I'm chilled and quiet, and I just think about what is my intention for this event? What do I actually want to get out of this, this year? What is the like, the one thing above all other things that I want to get out of this. Because if I if I find if I don't go into it with an intention, then I tend to end up trying to do all the things and get the most out of it by doing everything. And that just doesn't work because I end up just frazzled and overwhelmed and like burning out or melting down. So if I know exactly why I'm here, I can pick and choose what I do. I'm really interested in where we're going as a community, so that's the sort of thing I want to learn about and I want to talk about with people. So that doesn't necessarily involve being at classes all the time or doing specific things that are like on the menu. A lot of what happens at Costume College can be what happens between classes or in the hallways or spontaneous uh, conversations that happen. So. That's pretty much where my intention is for this year and uh, 
that might change through the weekend. You might come here with one intention and leave with a different one. So uh, we'll see how this goes. This one is fairly simple because these ones are costing college. You can just pour water in, put your cup with your tea bag in, in the bottom and you're done. But I mean, who wants to drink the tea out of a paper cup? The way to do this is early in your stay, you order room service, they will bring you an actual cup and saucer, ladies and gentlemen. Constance, are you in the market for English breakfast here? This seems uh, to be can I have Earl Grey? I've bought my own. Oh, excellent. Are you going to endure the paper cup? Well, you've got your own cup as well. Excellent. <laughs> No, I oh don't no! Know whether this co oh, it can collapse oh, okay. a little bit. It can collapse slightly. This is an adventure. Oh, grey, ladies and gentlemen. Only the only way to fly. We probably should have run it through the tap water first, but we'll see. Are you feeling lucky, Constance? <laughs> it, would you be averse to it vaguely I'm tasting like coffee? Are you going to risk the creamer? I think I'll have it. Okay. Ladies and gentle folk, no matter how many years of experience you have with these things, uh, eight. You're never enough. Oh. Tripped again? Yeah, oh, tripped again. we have relocated to the bathroom because we kept <laughs> shorting out the electricity. Nine years later. <laughs> what time is the pool party? Wow, that's full. You may need a straw, Constance. <laughs> I think you'll agree that's a masterpiece. <laughs> this is true British artistry right here. in England. Oh no. I like to try to get to bed pretty early, not stay up too late. That gives me a chance to just calm down a bit and let my mind settle, which is one of the ways I can pace myself. So this is the point where I'll sort of start tidying. So it's sort of resetting for tomorrow. Drink lots of water, also good. Okay, what's my focus tomorrow? What are the two or three things that I want to make sure I do tomorrow? What even is the one thing that even if I achieve nothing else tomorrow and just spend time hanging out, chatting to people, what's the one thing I want to make sure I go and attend or do or get involved in? So that's what I'm doing now. This was Thursday. Good night. Good morning, it's Friday morning. I think I'm already a little worse for wear, but you know, I've come from the other side of the world, so that's okay. I'm a little jet lagged, I'm a little tired, I've had about six hours sleep and then went and swam, so I'm feeling extremely chilled out, or maybe just tired, I have no idea. This afternoon and evening is going to be fairly full on, so a chilled morning is kind of vital. Again, this is what I said about setting intentions. The major things for today to focus on are we have a meet up for all the YouTube ladies in the lobby at three o'clock, and then the social this evening. You're already ironing your veil for tomorrow night, aren't you? Yes. We are engaged in the act of strategic peopling. This is, this is how introverts do costume college. We are choosing to have plenty of quiet times, and now we are strategically going down and being seen being around when we, when we know it's going to be reasonably busy and we'll see lots of people. Not so, that we don't want to see people. No, but we, we want to see much. people strategically. So yes. if we are around at a particular time when lots of people are around, then we can concentrate the peopling. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, this is the foundation layer. And okay. then I have my first closure, second, third, this is amazing. Fourth, and then fifth. That is very yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I went all out with this. And this then is on the sleeves, I actually have my husband's and my daughter's constellations. Oh, my constellations. So, Excellent. So, as in your zodiac. Yeah, zodiac signs. Okay, we're going to do historically accurate worth, but we're going to flatline it with TARDISes. Uh, yeah, I, that works. I couldn't resist. Notice how this shape. The cording creates the shape. You can see the shape going on there. Yeah. I'm very happy with how this one turned out. Yeah, that's good. Pride in your work. See, yeah. this is what is possible. Yeah. Despite the fact that you're very proud of it, yeah. would you still say that it's not perfect? Oh, it's not perfect by any means. Yeah. There are so many things that I've learned from making this one. Yeah. This is my, I think, 
nine to four that I've made, right? And there's still so many things that I'm learning every single time, yes. and that I don't think will ever stop. So, but it is possible. If you are proud of your work, oh, I'm extremely without proud of it, it being perfect yes. first. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, I'm very yeah. proud of it. Good. <laughs> Good. We have a meet-up at three o'clock. It's about twenty-five two, and I'm just we're just having again punctuating the socialising with just whew, calm down, so we can never get overstimulated too much. Come back to our rooms. Bernadette's looking at her video footage. I'm just freshening up a bit, ready for this uh, meetup, which basically for me involves putting more concealer on. So this this is it. We're going to be going down and doing this meetup. Um, we'll see how many people show up. I'm wearing pretty much the outfit that I wore in Bernadette's train video when we went on the steam trains in Loughborough. So uh, I hope that will be recognisable. People seem to recognise me, but uh, um, that would help, I thought. So also my ribbon stream now. That's one of my favourite things about costume college is the fun ribbons because they help you socialise. I think ready to go. I think nearly ready to go. Noelle's daily vlogs from Costume College and feeling the difference between being an introvert and an extrovert because Noelle is very much the extrovert. I'm, I'm looking at all that she's fitting in and all that she's doing and feeling like wow I'm not getting as much out of this as she is because she just has the energy to be out there so much more and it also may be giving you the impression that uh, no, I would. You could never do this because you're an introvert. There are different ways to do costume college. It's if you're an introvert, you can do it at your own level and choose, like I was saying, set intentions and be very strategic about exactly what you want to do and what is not so important to you so you get out of it what you need. You don't have to do everything in order to get the value out of it. A first thing I've learnt this year is that I need to come in earlier and not make it so hard on myself by trying to fly in and fly out again. I make this hard for myself. Surely you know the feeling. Wow, I'm I'm I could I can do it this way or I could do it the easy way. And mm, I lost my train of thought again. This, see, this is what it's like. Nope, it's gone. Today is all about the gala. For me, that's the focus. That's the number one priority. 
other than that, um, I would usually be teaching this morning. I'm having a bit of a year off from teaching, except from doing that one for doing that one class with Lauren and Abby and Cindy. So this year, it would be nice to actually go to a class or two. There was a class this morning about worth, which is one of my great obsessions. It's between midday and 2.30, so it gives me an opportunity to have a very long, lazy morning and then to have time to come back and prepare for the garden. Other thing I've learned, if you're an introvert and you're coming to Costume College, get a room on a high floor because the noise down here from the traffic is unbelievable, especially if you live in the country and this is unusual for you to be in a city. So top tip for Costume College, if you're a quiet person, go for a high floor. I think that's all I have to say for now. But rest assured, if you're watching Noelle's vlog, and seeing uh, the extrovert version of Costume College, that's not the only way to do it. You make Costume College your own, depending on what your interests are, on what your energy level is, and how many thousands of miles you've traveled to be here, and how different your time zone is. So it can be done. I am overachieving. Look at me, I'm going to a class. Hey. <laughs> what were we talking about like before we got into aliens and advertising? Mm. We're talking about teaching classes. Oh yeah! It was actually fun for me to go to a class about something I know about, but the best part about it was they own original Worth gowns and they brought two with them. So here are some museum gloves. You want to handle a Worth gown? Can you like take care of that gown over there for us, Kathy, while we take care of this one? And it was really cool looking at this gown with everybody and discovering it and noticing things about it and looking at oh does it have a pocket and what kind of pocket does it have mm. and what's the waistband like when we look at dior dresses and think about you know couture tech 20th century couture techniques dior was using old victorian techniques and that is what we think of now as couture techniques the stuff that dior was doing well you know it's actually he like got from victoria one of the projects dress. that's been in the back of my head is to do a reconstruction of like a 1950s couture thing and like from the mindset of you know historical like dressmaking yeah. of because there's a lot of handwork in that yeah it's a lot there of is. you know historical traditional historical techniques how similar are they yeah that would be an interesting project one day when yeah. i eventually want to branch out from strictly pre-World War I. Yeah.
situation when it's been a really great night and you really need to go to sleep and you are very tired but you're also very excited and on high so I'm going to go and do the same thing I did last night get on the floor I find yoga very useful because when there's a lot of tension or anxiety or you want to calm down it's kind of hard to calm down your mind but it can be easier to calm down your body if you can get the anxiety or the the um, pent-up energy out of your body it helps get it out of your mind so I find one of the shortcuts to calming down is to get myself into a physical position that automatically starts to calm me down so that's why I say lying on the floor or lying in child's pose great way to calm down so I'm going to do that now you just lie kneel like that um, with your feet flat with your knees wide and just lie forward I'm no yoga teacher but fairly wide, sending your right arm off to the left, underneath your left arm. I'm better with the people now, I'm getting over the culture shock, but it's Sunday morning and I'm very, very physically tired. We were up till about midnight, and I really am going to do very little this morning because I have a class that I'm co-teaching at lunchtime on days when I teach. I do try to get as much rest as I can in the morning because I'm really committed to giving my absolute best. And just before that there will be a meetup for our Stitchlings, our Foundations Revealed members at 12.30. So that will be taking place first and then we'll be going into um, my class, our class. I will be compost mentis by then. Right, it is time. We're having a Stitchlings meetup for all the Foundations Revealed people. Lucy is bringing some of her extant courses from the Red Threaded collection, so... Oh, lighting in this elevator. <laughs> it's pretty good, isn't it? Anyway, you were saying. Anyway, yes. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Hey, how are you doing? Then there's this pretty little one. I want to hand this one around because I want you all to feel how lightweight this course is. It feels like snack. And that's something that you really don't understand until you fold the next day, right? And you're just like, it feels like a piece of paper. But this one is whalebone. That, look, that one's steel. This one, this is like 1890s, I believe. And, um, he's gonna go. Oh, it's your bed. It's so yes. it's cool. The bus is Yes. This bus is bent into that nice belly curve. But the bus is really thin and really, really light. And there's a ton of staining on this poor thing, which is part of why I don't mind handing this one around. You know, it's, it's, it'll be fine. It looks like, like a frosted cupcake. Uh, that was my intention. Yeah. It was with yeah. the white, like, comfy from yeah. <laughs> I was, I think I was about a thousand in, so. Yeah. You, you, yeah. you were getting some good I was following yeah. you both when I had zero subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyways, okay. okay. seems to be over really suddenly. You're in the middle yeah. of it and then suddenly, boom, everybody's gone. Well, we all went out to the pool and we sat out there for, well, admittedly a couple of hours, but when we walked back into the hotel room, back into the lobby, it was yeah. weird because it was like, 
suddenly it was a normal hotel room with like yeah. muggles, no like people in bustle gowns crowded around bars. How was your second year at Costume College? It was a lot better than last year. Mm -hmm. Because last year I felt like, well I had no clue what was going on, I was very confused. You were the only person I knew here. Yes. So, like I didn't really know anyone. I'm also a highly anxious human being, so I was like at my nerves end pretty much from like Friday afternoon, which is like the whole time mm -hmm. up through the end of the weekend. Yeah, this time I felt like I had a better concept of what was going on. Mm -hmm. I knew more people, so it felt more comfortable. Yeah, I felt overall pretty decent. Good. Yeah, this this time, which I wasn't expecting. I was expecting, mm -hmm. to, I was, I went into this weekend fully expecting to be at my nerves end, mm -hmm. but like prepared for that. But I don't think I was. Good. Yeah. The warmer the climate, the colder the air conditioning. I mean, I was sitting in class literally shivering. Today I was prepared. Today I wore socks over stockings under my wool skirt, as I do in the winter in New York City. And I was still cold, but better than yesterday. Having discussed the climate. <laughs> the weather, as we do <laughs> in Britain. Yeah. You are now an honorary Brit. Thank you. I shall anoint you with my teaspoon. Oh, you are literally serious, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm British. honored. How did you feel this year? It was quite an unusual year because I was in a connecting room with you. Usually oh, I'm yeah. very isolated in my own room. It was rather lovely to have. Uh, one main person who I was hanging out with. Yeah, that, that was nice because it also felt like when I was in my room I didn't feel isolated. Mm -hmm. Like last year I felt like whenever I was in my hotel room, even though I needed that space, I felt like I was missing, like I should have been downstairs because mm -hmm. I was missing something. I feel like if you go into Costume College, and this is difficult to do if it's your first time, because yeah. you don't know what to expect, uh -huh. but this year I felt like, you know, I could go into Costume College with goals. What do I hope yeah. to achieve at Costume College? Not like take all of the classes, but like mm -hmm. what I wanted to do at Costume College, the reason why I was going was to meet people who watch my videos because I feel like now a lot of people are coming because of the vlog. So like mm -hmm. connect with people personally and to see you because <laughs> I only get to see you a couple times a year. Both of those were achieved. Mm -hmm. And so, even though I didn't take all of the classes, mm. I still feel like it was very successful because yeah. I met a lot of people and I got to live with you for four days! Yeah. <laughs> Just to watch as an observer, as a business owner in this space, mm. and get an overview of where are we as a community, where are we going, yeah. what are people interested yeah. in. Yeah. And that's, that's my thing and your thing. So we love looking at like the 35,000 foot big picture. I'm like, ooh, I see where this is going. Let's analyze some stuff. Let's analyze stuff. <laughs> Let's fly across the country just so that we have stuff to analyze. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so last year at Costume College, you asked me would I come back? And I said, probably not. Maybe it will be like an every other year thing, but like, it was a long weekend, it was very stressful, it was a long way to come, it was very expensive for me because I did it last minute, don't do that, book early. It wasn't until I got home and I realized, it, ju it just sunk in like how many other people in this costuming community there are doing amazing things. And I just like had this intense wave of inspiration for like two weeks. And I just permitted myself, I didn't say like, oh, I have other stuff to be doing, I can't sew right now, but I just let myself stop everything and just work on stuff, whatever I felt inspired to do for two weeks. And well, part of that was the walking skirt adaptation video um, mm -hmm. that I had been putting off for years that I finally did because I had the inspiration to do it and that video ended up building my channel. But that's that's that a, that's, that's a, video. Yeah, that's a yeah. different story. So, so the that thing that it's just been a big part in the whole year. Of yeah, well the thing that determined did. like what made me realize like I need to come back. This thing is actually kind of important, more mm -hmm. important than I realized at the time is that yeah, that, that like wave of inspiration. So I'm hoping that will happen again. And despite how tired and exhausting and overwhelming the weekend is, mm -hmm. still is, I was just saying to you in the elevator on the way mm -hmm. up, like I do still feel kind of like withdrawal right now. Like it's Sunday night, everyone's gone. But do I get to wake up and go to class tomorrow again? Yeah. <laughs> like I'm exhausted and I shouldn't be doing that, but like, I kind of want to, mm -hmm. but I kind of don't. Yeah. Like, I miss it. <sighs> so back 
cooking at home tomorrow. Yeah, that might come to the next thing. I think that's a good place to fade out. <laughs> okay.